Howdy friends, welcome to All About Relay channel. In this video, we will be seeing like a overview of RTMS software. In the previous two videos, we have seen how to install RTMS uh, or PowerDB software and also how to uninstall RTMS and PowerDB softwares. I will also attach the link uh, in this video in the description below. So please see if you want to understand how to install and uh, uninstall RTMS software. This video, we will be seeing like overview of the RTMS software. Like a uh, lot of questions uh, uh, users will be having like RTMS user, whether I can able to test this specific relay like over current relay, imprints relay, distance relay or uh, etc. So those things we can see. And also this particular video, basically I will break into the uh, three or four videos uh, only for RTMS overview, not about testing. This is about like each and every button and uh, functions of the each button of this particular uh, uh, pages actually like uh, home screen or tool screen. Uh, we will uh, slightly talk about each tool and uh, understand how we can use it for our application purposes. If you see this one, this is the RTMS home screen, right? This is uh, help user to run any any manual testing like turn on, turn off the amplifiers, uh, inject into the relay, and uh, see the uh, how relay performs. Let's see the the architecture of this software in the home screen. You can see this is the connection icon. It's to, it's so the connection status, and also you notice like when you move between the icons there is hover te text appears this shows like what is the name of each icon so in this case the the first icon here top uh, left corner is a connection status icon when this is shows the yellow background this is in simulate mode when it is connected with the instrument this icon turn into the green background that shows like it is in the uh, connection mode with the test set the system configuration button is nothing but it help user to configure the relay test set and also like uh, other functionalities to perform uh, testing, right? Uh, how many current and volt, example, how many current and voltage you required? Uh, do you want to use the six current mode or uh, four voltage one current mode? Or you want to use like a four voltage, one, a four voltage uh, three current mode? or six current mode for differential testing. You want to use like IEC 6850 mode, or it is enabled or not. A lot of functionalities we are going to see in this video. Also, this report option icon will allow user to see like the entire test reports like pass or fail or any, any test you have done within the software, it will show all the test results value. The relay setting icon, this is the heart of the any templates actually. The relay setting icon help user to read the setting in case of SEL relays or G relays, read the setting from the relay and populate it over here. Then user can map those settings into the test they are building and uh, create the templates actually. It's a very, very important uh, uh, feature. It is available in the software. The select new test icon have the tools actually to perform the various type of uh, relay functionality testing. Say example, there are two, two columns here, standard column and enhanced column. The standard column comes with the basic uh, free license. The enhanced column, you have to purchase the advanced software license to use these features. Say example, for, let me start with the enhanced one. Like you want to do synchronization testing, like synchronizer tool, like uh, uh, you want to do 25 element testing, you need to use the, uh, you need to have the license, enhanced license. The frequency element testing, like 81 elements, you need to do have the uh, frequency uh, uh, element uh, testing, you need a license on com trade playback and also the power swing testing, as well as SS1 playback. This is a very common uh, method of doing the end-to-end -end testing in North American market. It may not be very uh, useful or used in the IEC or NC, IEC and Asia market, but this is very much used in the uh, North American market. 
in the standard column you have like a ramp tool there are two tools like a simple ramp and advanced ramp in the timing uh, timing menu you have the over current test over voltage test under voltage test and there is option called sequence this sequence test uh, will allow help user to test like uh, any kind of auto recloser testing or you want to do circuit breaker failure testing even like uh, over fluxing or over excitation test in them in the sequence way then you can use the sequencer screen the impedance uh, like you want to do some quick testing like then run ecg uh, uh, test tool will allow you to run user click or select the uh, specific impedance value and run the test and click on default test see like it's a it's cof test this will help a uh, user can get the predefined uh, uh, test modules available like uh, so you have rel 670 example or sel 451 or 421 you have the setting file you can input and you can create the uh, character characteristics based on the setting and click that add the test lines and run the test as simple as possible and also there is uh, another tool test undefined characteristics this also we call unknown z what it does actually you no need to do anything just connect your voltage and current input to the relay uh, impedance relays and just run the test you predefine a little bit like a assumed line angle assumed characteristics simple quad or more then this particular tool will run the test automatically then create the characteristics automatically like uh, if it is a mo or quad it doesn't matter it automatically create the characteristics in uh, going uh, forward we will see each tool how it works but just i give some introduction on the tools the three phase differential option like uh, the transformer test this will uh, this tool will allow user to like enter your transformer differential relay settings and run the test this tool by def predefined one of the simplest tool for the transformer testing transformer differential relay testing is this particular tool you you start use you will realize you user need to enter only what is the relay setting that's it even they no need to create any slope characteristics the software does create automatically the characteristics it's the same for like generated differential testing or motor differential testing the tool is available in case sometime user want to do only single phase differential say example user have only two current channel instruments like uh, smr you want test that then they can use the single phase differential module like phase by phase they can test it the other tools like 61850 tools the smrt test set and also like rtms software supports the testing of the uh, iec 61850 technologies like this one g it's called mega goose configurator like mgc software this allow user to like uh, communicate with the network or relay uh, snip the goose signal from the relay or the network and also it is have a ability to publish the goose signal into the network or into to the relay to read and the sample value software this is like uh, it allow user to generate the sample value from the same test set you no need of any other different test set for running the or creating the sample value just use the existing smrt test set you need a license special license for that once you have the license the analog test set can able to generate the sample values then you can able to publish the uh, sample value into the network uh, or to the ied to read so and uh, this software will help user to configure all those uh, sample value generation features and the transducer tool will allow user to run the uh, transducer testing using the hardware so smrt hardwares have ability to uh, test the transducer modules this is the module like predefined you can select a frequency transducer power transducer or whatever transducer whatever the transducers you can select and you enter the values and it automatically inject the voltage and current read the either uh, 0 to 10 voltage input or like plus or minus 20 milliamps input then it populate the values give the pass or fail results the meter test screen it like any 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 relay engineer before start the uh, any testing they need to run the meter test to ensure the connections and everything is correct or not it's a very basic testing so user can use, use this meter test screen like inject voltage and current three phase voltage and current and uh, also like read the 
read back voltage and current either manually enter the values or uh, enter read the directly from the relay and also it allow user to enter the power kilowatt uh, kvr values into the test screen to evaluate fast or fail So we will uh, going to see each button in the future uh, in the next videos uh, how to uh, how what is the feature of each button how we can use these uh, buttons uh, to run the test. Let's start from the uh, connection icon. So if you click connection icon, there is a, a top pop up window appears. Then you can select simulate device or it will show what is the last test set you connected. And also like uh, something uh, interesting one like Mega Digital Twin. So Mega uh, have collaborated with uh, some uh, relay manufacturer to come up with the supporting the digital twin. Like it's virtual testing. In one of the video or podcast, we will be going to see how it looks, uh, uh, digital twin, uh, how it, it works actually. So user normally when click the connection icon, either click simulate device. In this case, I, I don't have any test set, so I can use simulate device or the test set name like it appears here user can select the test set which want to connect in this case i will click simulate device and uh, uh, the test set will uh, connect in case of uh, it's available or in this case you can see simulate mode enable the software is in simulate mode so continuing to the system configuration i will put the next video like uh, to see each and every icon thank you